I'm not sure what the sound quality is like on this, but this is an important note. Uh, Jesse DeMarco, who Wallace, who got me in touch with Rini, they got me to Gina, they got me to Aaron Bucci. Him and his brother used to do this thing when I first met him, they were trolling some guy in town. I cannot know at this point if they were actually talking about me. I don't think it is. I think it was the guy, the redheaded guy uh, from the lane. But they kept um, trolling him and uh, making him seem to be. They were joking about about calling him a pedophile and uh, putting it out online that he was a pedophile. I thought it was just you know typical surfer BS because uh, if you guys don't know anything about surf culture, it's freaking brutal. Big time brutal. Uh, and I also want to mention the hazing, uh, the go home, the wax on my windows on the Mercedes. Uh, that was happening at Four Mile and a couple of other places. I think it's because they didn't like my I Know Care sticker. Because I had a sticker that says, if you don't like my surfing, uh, call 1 800 I Know Care. <laughs> And there's always a rivalry between California and Hawaii, and uh, that doesn't help. I took that sticker off. Anyway, <laughs> uh, nothing funny about this. Uh, we're trying to get back to the root, how this fire got started, and how this uh, narrative got completely blown out of proportion. I do not know if Jesse DeMarco uh, had put anything out trolling me as a pedophile. Uh, maybe not when I had met him, but maybe afterwards. We gotta remember that Carmen Sue's in the mix here. This is all the Davenport crew, along with the Hells Angels and all the growers. This is part of the Davenport crew. But I wanted to record this, uh, maybe a little bit as a reminder to myself. And uh, for any of you know, who knows Jesse DeMarco, then have him contact me through here so that we can figure out what the heck is going on. Although I have a feeling, uh, you know, He's a teacher, so he's caught up in the false narrative. But if he's the one that started part of this narrative, I don't think he is, though. But I know that there's something about him and his brother trolling that dude from the from the lane, steamer lane. And I wonder if there's any connection to the uh, proliferation of this uh, false narrative.